Hello and welcome to this introduction to Dynamics 365. I am excited that you are here and you uh, came along to see what I've got to share. It is a brief overview of the uh, Dynamics 365 and uh, for you that is uh, someone who is starting on testing or for you who are a business analyst or a project manager who just wanted to know a little bit more about um, where to start with Dynamics 365. I have been working with three, uh, Dynamics 365 for a while and as part of my uh, uh, services in my expert pod solutions. I offer Dynamics 365 expertise in testing uh, particularly and a little bit of uh, business analysts as well and also um, help outsource if any anyone will need it from top to bottom from architecture to uh, uh, project management and uh, developers, um, uh, process analysts, business analysts, test analysts, and so on. What I've put it together here is just a brief overview of, of it using these slideshow that I am happen to open in, in here. Uh, let's just bring it up. So what's Dynamics 365? What this is all about? What does it mean? So Dynamics 365 is divided into two parts. Uh, so Dynamics CRM side and the Dynamics ERP side. So CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management and uh, ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Microsoft provided those services and the, throughout these two uh, channels, uh, it has uh, different uh, levels of uh, software which cover uh, the sales process. So let's say a company wants to cover this sales process uh, using uh, the, that system from Dynamics 365, you would have to require a license related to the sales hub, which is tailored, um, uh, out of the box, uh, ready for uh, the sales team to use. But there is options to customize, which most of companies do, organizations do. Uh, so let's say an organization needs to generate some leads and uh, have that lead uh, turn into a potential customer and uh, get that, that information and qualify that, that customer and, and make a proposal for you know the products that the organization has to offer and then close the deal and sign them as a, as a customer. So the other process is the services uh, uh, process using um, uh, the customer service hub which is another package as well uh, offered by Dynamics 365 through CRM. Uh, so let's say an organization needs to provide services to its customers when needed support and maybe have an issue with something, a delivery issue or, or uh, any related call center. The system offers that as well. The other uh, services that Dynamics 365 offers is a field services. So let's say an organization needs to provide the services to its mobile workforce they need to be doing a service technician needs to be do a service on site it, it checks the availability it helps check the availability of that technician being whatever he, he is or uh, uh, outside and also it helps check you know proximity of that technician to the to the client also uh, helps filter out the, you know the skill set necessarily needed for that work to work as efficient as possible and complete that work order from you know being mobile so it offers that which is quite good and also the another stream is uh, the uh, project corporations so you can um, manage uh, any project uh, let's say an organization needs to manage project can collaborate with other teams so you can manage the time expenses billing budget and timeline and etc and finally, the uh, the other stream is the ERP side, where the, um, the any organization can manage the finance process for anything related to product orders, inventory, invoices, uh, the bank management, the compensation management as well, the budget and the forecast, uh, all the sales ledger and everything. So the sales orders, process and inquiries, everything being managed through the CRM Dynamics 365 ERP. Okay. The overview to kind of put it things in a bit more in perspective, Microsoft Dynamics 365, when you hear it, 
probably he, people get confused. I used to get confused myself until I start to understand and start to drill a little bit more down into it. And into two bugs, two roots is CRM and ERP. And under that, then you have the services and uh, specific licenses for, like, um, if you go into sales, then on the CRM or customer services or field services, project services and marketing. And then you go into ERP, have finance, supply chain, commerce, and human resources. There are other extra add ons as well. I'm not not going to go into detail of those yet. I'll get down there in other videos or in another section. But this is like the the main streams of um, of Dynamics 365. Dynamics 365 sits on top of the application platform Power Apps, the, the common data service, which again sits on top of the uh, Microsoft Azure cloud services. So the CRM deployment uh, options are, are on premises, but Dynamics is trying to move away from, from, from that side. So most of the offering now is on, on the cloud, but you still have the option for on premises until uh, 2026. But to be honest, it makes sense to go into the cloud. Most of the things are in the cloud these days and it works, works out much more efficient for everyone. So a little bit of history of the Dynamics 365 names. And so uh, back in the beginning, Microsoft is at Microsoft Business Solutions Customer Relationships, so just the CRM, and then moved into the first CRM called CRM version 3. 3.0 and, and that's when you know that term when you hear about XRM was created and then years has passed by and then you know through various uh, acquisitions of um, ERP applications like Great Plains, Navision, Axpita, Solomon and then moved on a little bit further Dynamics 3 CRM started to go CRM online so divided into various products so Dynamics 365 for customer engagement, when you probably hear until these days Dynamics CE, uh, Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, FNO, uh, Dynamics 365 Business Central, and so on. Then uh, we're here today, so all those has turned into a new shape and a new name, which are, comes along in the next few slides, um, sitting on a uh, common data service. This is how it looks uh, today. So Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM, so like I showed in the previous slide, so sales, customer service, field service, project service, marketing. So you no longer see the Dynamics CE or you no longer see um, Dynamics FNO, it's finance. And again, this sits on top of the Power Apps application, which Again, sits on top of Microsoft Azure Cloud Services. Uh, Dynamics 365 throughout the years has changed a little bit. In the beginning, it was just uh, Dynamics CRM or CRM Online. And then you change it to, to those names, like I just mentioned, uh, Customer Engagement, some people call CE. And then uh, they had the option to go online or on premises, and then for sales, and then for customer services, for all field services. And then that for word has been taken off. You see that Dynamics 365 for sales, Dynamics 365 sales. But going into the uh, website today, and uh, this has changed recently, um, like taking sales as for example. So you see the options of uh, being just sales or Microsoft relationship sales. The basic dynamics, we have the customers inside, customers voice, and for services, you have customer service, field service, remote uh, as assistant, and so on, okay? Uh, marketing as well. And for Dynamics ERP, the same, similar, evolution in the name. So it started off Dynamics AX and then gone into Unified Operations on May Vision and then, and then they moved on quite significantly the names as you can see here. So Finance and Operation, FMO, you probably hear that more often and more common to hear that Finance and Operation. 
on FNO. And you're going to need to finance or supply chain management in the now finance, just finance, Dynamics 365 finance. Um, and so on with, with the others as well. So um, I will show a link and I'll share the link as well uh, where you can see uh, the latest. But I'm going to show you in a bit uh, what it looks like in the website. Yeah, which is this one here. Uh, so let me just uh, move away from this a little bit and I'm going to open the actual uh, website. So as you can see here, the, the products uh, names, you see there, Dynamics 365, Sales and then Sales, Microsoft Relationship Sales, Service, Customer Service, Field Service, Remote Assistant, HR. So they kind of um, separated out into different uh, specific sections. So um, you see Customer Insights and Customer Voice or specific for supply chain more and medium, medium business finance see it's just finance there's no operations anymore marketing then you have commerce you know that each one of those um, uh, specific out of the box configuration okay so that gives you a bit of overview on that on that sense um so moving on to uh, the documentation so you can get the documentation here it's it's fairly easy to to get here and um, then you can get the resource oh yeah it's there so resources documentation this is where you can get into that specific documentation to be able to read out and it, they are all divided into the sections you're working on and uh, you could get overwhelmed with the amount of information and variation. So one thing I suggest, and I'm still, you know, I'm still breathing and learning Dynamics 365 world. And uh, there is a lot to, to learn there. The, the learning curve is, is, is quite steep. One thing I suggest is to go into this section that you are actually working on. So if you are on something related to commerce, just stick around to the commerce uh, side. There's enough information there to keep you busy and entertained. The other things as well, so roadmap update. Uh, so Microsoft uh, Dynamics uh, guys, they they do uh, have release of Wave, Wave 1 and Wave 2. Uh, it happens twice a year. So uh, around March and uh, and then for wave one and wave two around October. These are the release, so you have to prepare that before that beforehand. Uh, so we usually start to prepare about two three months before. Particularly if you have any customizations on the system, it's it's uh, it's quite important to prepare for regression tests and those two to prepare for uh, regression tests for uh, any risks that the release notes you are identified that could, you know, risk off anything that you have customized on your system. So that you got to bear that in mind and keep an eye on this, on this page. And then uh, the pricing as well, if you're interested in the pricing, if you are a business analyst or if you are a project manager, you probably, this is more for you than the testers. I know that probably potentially there's not only going to be testers listening to this video um, and watching this video actually. Um, you could go to the pricing, uh, which is just sitting there, and then you'll be able to see the prices for all the, the options that for all the licenses that you can you can get the ROP and all the breakdown of, of all the prices there. Okay, and then what's next uh, in my list? Uh, right, so certification, if you are interested in certifications, this page here is quite good to give you a roadmap for your uh, exams, for your certifications. Um, so you could start, you know, probably these two are linked together, Dynamics 365 and Power Platform, because most of the things that Dynamics have are on top of Power Platform. 
uh, unless you're working on the legacy system, but um, everybody's moving into into it. So these two kind of work side by side, which uh, let me just get this page open here. I think I have um, that. Um, so in here, you, um, you would probably want to start from the fundamentals. So the fundamentals, so Dynamics 365 fundamentals, MB910, and then uh, the for CRM, and then ERB, MB920, and then Power Platform Fundamentals, PL900. So this, this is the starting point. And then if you are going specific, something specific on Dynamics 365, then you just pick the one that I'm uh, related to you, uh, to you. So the great thing about, about Microsoft these days, they, their learning uh, material is quite good. There are a lot of, uh, there's, a, there's plenty of material, plenty of resources that you can use. If you go to yeah, Microsoft Learn, and there you will be able to find plenty of material about Dynamics 365, for example. And then you can just search by, uh, yeah, there we go. You can search by the certifications and then you would you give you a path as well. I am preparing a lot of material around that as well to help train people specific around a specific version of Dynamics. And more oriented for uh, for testers and business analysts. Um, but I have not released that yet. Um, maybe by the time you watch this video, you know, maybe maybe I will have uh, seen something from it. Uh, but there you go. So uh, that gives you like a good in summary. Dynamics three six five. What is it for? It is used for the, what the differences between the dynamics in a nutshell. So the differences of uh, CRM, what those contains in the CRM, ERP, what the contains in the ERP, and uh, how dynamics is structured and hosted, and uh, the various names from the past to this day. By the time I record this video, <laughs> you never know, they might change the name again. And uh, where to go as you start in point to get more information about that. And um, the roadmap for the any updates that they release, they're constantly releasing updates. Where to find out more about the pricing and uh, a quick overview of the certification. I hope you do like uh, this video and enjoy this uh, introduction. And uh, I have prepared as well a quick demo of how to log in. So stick to the next video and uh, I'll show you how to uh, to log in and uh, how to get a trial and, and, and get access to uh, uh, to try out yourself. Okay, thank you and uh, see you then.